guys, we got a great panel with us uh, today. Uh, first up, he's a actor, writer, comedian. He's on Guy Code on MTV2 and a good friend of mine, Mr. John Gabris. Hi. Hi. Uh, Gabris, you love smoking weed. <laughs> My mom. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Is your mom? Uh, uh, yeah, maybe your mom's on rooster teeth right now. So you go I, I do. What gave it away? Everything about me. <laughs> yeah, and I also want to thank John for dressing up for the show today. This nice plaid shirt with camo cargo shorts. I wasn't sure how I'd be framed. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out you get to see some real thigh meat. Boom. <laughs> Best meat of the chicken. Uh, all right, and now uh, he uh, is, is a regular over at uh, Geek and Sundry. Please give it up for Ify Wadiwe. Yeah. <laughs> Just learned how to say yeah. his last name hey. in that moment. Right there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you, it takes a while, but it's pretty easy actually when yeah. you when you do it. Uh, and how you been doing? I'm uh, pretty good, you know. Yeah. I've just been goofing it up. Goofing it up? Yeah, yeah. We've been goofing it up. Yeah, goofing now, last it. week we talked about you eating rocks to make your jaw stronger. I'm st I still stand by that stand statement. By that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Eat right, rocks, great. it'll make you nice and... Yeah. Right. <laughs> also with us tonight, uh, creator of the Love and Justice podcast and host of numerous shows over at After Buzz TV, give it up for Emma Fife. <laughs> How you doing, Emma? So tell me about all these shows you got going on. Man, you know, I went into After Buzz last week thinking I was doing two shows, and I ended up doing four shows. Oh my goodness. I just started doing an after show for Guardians of the Galaxy, which is a new cartoon on Disney XD. Okay. Uh, also Bob's Burgers and uh, Steven Universe, which is on Cartoon Network. That's great. So you just watch cartoons all day I, and Yeah, talk I do. About I just watch cartoons and talk about them. And That's I'm awesome. the pothead. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, thanks so much for coming on. And of course, to round it out, we got my homegirl, RTES writer, and she's also written for a show called Sarah Live. I don't know if you've seen that before. <laughs> and she's also on a show called Whose Line Is It Anyway? Give it up for Heather Campbell, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. <laughs> How you doing, Heather? I'm good. How are you, everybody? <laughs> I'm good, Heather. Uh, as the... I'm connecting right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Connect with the at-home audience right there. Hi, guys. There. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what were you saying now? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm great. Yeah? I'm great. Life is awesome. Getting laid, getting mm. paid? Sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, Hell yeah. more the more the latter, less the former. More getting paid. Yeah. Less getting laid. Because that's my priorities in order. <laughs> oh. Getting paid money, and then get laid. Money, food. Okay. I like to get paid to get laid. You okay. know what I'm saying? Wait, you get paid in getting laid? I'm, I'm a prostitute. That's what I'm saying. I'm a prostitute. Hey guys, let's talk about the top stories. <laughs> Boom, top stories, guys. Uh, first big story uh, going on right now, EA is producing a Mass Effect theme park attraction. Have you guys heard about this? Ooh, it yeah. sounds pretty cool. The ride's gonna use 3D technology <laughs> and 4D effects. <laughs> What? what? Well, it's a, it's an interactive. I mean, like it's the vacuum of space. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, everyone, enjoy Mass Effect. Ah! <laughs> so Everybody nice. dies. Gravity, <laughs> the ride. <laughs> you implode. Uh, it's gonna be opening in 2016. Uh, so yeah, well, well, let's talk about it. We already heard you heard. Think about. It. I heard there's also uh, you know a little bit about yeah, the game. Yeah. Uh, so to me, number one, this sounds like a tricked out version of Transformers: The Ride. Mm -hmm. So you know you're gonna be going around Mass Effect. Apparently, there is actually a live human who is going to guide you through this experience. Oh, wow. Uh, so, dream, dream job. job. Dream, yeah, job. dream does, job, exactly. Does each individual who takes the ride make decisions that put them on a different ride? I don't know. <laughs> so, like, because Mass Effect so is all about... you can make decisions yeah, and yeah. Yeah. be on the like, teacups all of a sudden? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're like, I hope you enjoyed the ride. Also, you're evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, you are actually the bad guy now, yeah, yeah. so it's your job to kill everybody on this ride. <laughs> yeah, in, in order to enjoy the ride, you have to kill three people in your car yes. with you. Yeah. <laughs> do you do it? Mm, I don't well, know. And then there's like somebody who just stands there kind of like in an animation uh, cycle while oh, they're waiting. Yeah. While he's waiting for you to yeah. make your decision. <laughs> I wonder if I'm, I'm supposed I'm, to talk to this guy. Yeah. He's standing alone in a room going <laughs> like this. Also in Mass Effect, don't you have the chance to like get laid? By like yeah. your fellow like Mass Effect people, like is that incorporated yeah. into the ride as oh, well? So. That's, that's by the way, that's the rules for every ride. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do not go on Splash Mountain with <laughs> me. <laughs> you will get splashed. <laughs> Trust me. 
<laughs> or bring a little guy, like a uh, Gallagher you gotta tarp. Bring, yeah, you gotta get a little tarp because this guy ejaculates <laughs> everywhere. Hey, <laughs> uh, the thing about sperm killing, uh, being killed by weed, not true, right? Yeah. I'm just no. trying to tie everything you've said about me in together. Wait, oh, okay, you mm. smoke a lot of weed, you still have a lot of sperm. You, you <laughs> don't know if it's f f like volatile, I don't know if it, volatile's not Volatile? The right. <laughs> Your sperm is volatile. Vi viable? Maybe? Viable, yeah, I don't know. It, a lot of it comes out, I have no idea if it works. <laughs> I'm not saving it all up in Snapple jars. <laughs> Got to bring it to the doctor once he says I get to a gallon. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, here's what uh, pisses me off about the game is that, you know, I, I, that this, this ride has gotten a green light when I've been working for years on my Minesweeper theme park ride and nobody's buying. You nobody's just step buying. on a box and maybe get your leg blown up. Exactly. I think it's a great idea. A lot of people would come. But how about you guys? What other games do you guys think would make a cool ride? Oh, I would I would go on Skyrim the ride and just like make gloves for hours on it. <laughs> and you leave and you're like, you're a master leather worker now. You're like true real life you skills. Get, you get a real skill, yeah, like leather glove making. It's just important skill in it's 2015. You're right, if you live in Taiwan. <laughs> Who hasn't a Mario Kart go-kart experience That's what, been made? Like oh. if it was all padded carts in a padded room like, yeah. like bumper cars, but you got shit to throw at each you could, other. Like, throw yeah. turtle shells at people. Yeah, and, how, yeah. how awesome would that be? I'm going off the assumption that that's going to be the flagship attraction at the Nintendo parks because uh. Universal has a contract with Nintendo now to basically oh. do a Nintendo themed theme park. Oh, it's, that's yeah. cool. It's all I want to play duck. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, duck <laughs> I, wanna, but I, wanna, I wanna shoot real ducks, though. <laughs> you could just go hunt ducks, yeah. though. Yeah, exactly. I hate ducks. <laughs> oh, you can actually just go duck hunt? I would, you know, I would get into a duck hunt ride if part of it involved killing that damn dog oh, that just, like, laughs at you. The one who fetches the duck? Yeah, but if you don't hit any ducks, he just makes fun of you. He does mock you. He does mock you. Do you guys you. know that if you uh, are the second player on Duck Hunt that you control the ducks? Yes. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, it's serious. I didn't know that. If you if you pick up the second controller, first person shooting, second person can control the ducks. You can kind of control no like way. which direction they yeah, go. Yeah, nobody go controls down. the fucking dog, but every you can control the ducks. <laughs> Do you know? And if your little brother touches the zapper to the screen to kill, you're allowed to smack him in his fucking. <laughs> <head>. <laughs> that was a rule in the Gabriel's household, at least. Oh. We'd be like, uh, my brother would be like losing, and then he would like touch the gun to the screen. And it was like the worst thing what you could chunk. do. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I mean, I already have like a Hatoful boyfriend uh, theme park. You know, you I actually just come to my house in my backyard. I got a bunch of pigeons you can flirt with, <laughs> and uh, yes, and so you just—they're all in cages. You know, got I got some wily ones. I got the the buff one, and you know, I threw some weights at it. Hopefully, he'd get nice and buffed up. A so, pigeon? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> touch a, I mean, if you played the Hatoful boyfriend, yeah. It's, it's I mean, if you played it, the Hatoful. What no, kind of question is. is that? We're all playing a tofu boyfriend all the time. I don't even think I'm saying the same thing. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a dating sim where uh, they're all pigeons. Oh, oh man, yeah. I can't yeah. believe Did I haven't played this yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, too busy being a functioning member of society. <laughs> What game are you I mean, playing? You need to get on it. You need to get on it. It builds character. Okay. Well, you know, some other good news is coming up this week. Uh, it is now the 10-year anniversary of Serenity. Uh, Serenity, basically the Firefly movie. Here they uh, are on a roof. Uh, yes. yes. Is, uh, <laughs> look, look at favorite cast in an arbitrary location. <laughs> But, uh, you know, this was actually sort of the beginning of kind of that uh, phenomenon of when a show gets canceled, like the audience, like, pushing to get a movie, pushing to bring it back, kind of what, like what happened with Veronica Mars and Arrested Development. Mm -hmm. uh, but it happened with, uh, with Firefly. Were you guys Firefly fans? I was a bit of a fan, but I got on it late, like, after the movie had already come out. Oh, okay. I sort of got on it in the Netflix. Er, in the Netflix so did you watch videos. the movie first and then watch Fire? No, I watched it in the right order, but I didn't have to like fight and go online and sign petitions to get it to, to watch. Oh, it. Okay, uh, yeah. okay, okay. So I don't know the struggle. I'm like a, like a 1990s black dude. I, you know, <laughs> like I missed like all the hard stuff, and I'm just kind of like it's kind of weird, you know. But, like, that's I'm gonna compare myself to a 90s me, right? black the 90s guy. 90s black guy. Yeah, they missed all of the struggle. <laughs> well, no more struggles for black yeah, people. Yeah, the as yeah. far as I'm concerned, the 90s smooth sailing. Black I wouldn't say smooth, but it's definitely smoother, oh. right? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Billy clubs are very smooth. Um, well, one thing, uh, interesting thing about, you know, the cast is all done pretty well, but one cast member has had a little bit of rough luck. Uh, Summer Glau, who's on Firefly, uh, she, that show was canceled. Then she was on Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. That show was canceled. She was also on Arrow. Arrow, not canceled, but her character did yeah. get killed off. And so my thought is, it's tough for a really hot chick in Hollywood, isn't it? Well, you, I yeah. would not know. Oh. <laughs> 
You have you have to have hot chick friends. <laughs> <laughs> Surely you know some hot. Surely you met a hot chick at some point. Yeah, they, they got it easy. They're, they're all happy. They're, they're having a great time. Everything's great for women in Hollywood and black people in the nineties. Especially <laughs> because she falls under that like ethnically ambiguous category, which yeah. is like super hip these days. Like yeah. I feel like every casting breakdown you get, they're like looking for ethnically ambiguous. Yeah, they're like, we want it to be. We want to give money to a white person, but we want them to kind of slide exactly, in under. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. A part. I don't. What is this second picture in the middle? Where there's like a like a Masters of the Universe girl oh, yeah. standing behind them. Uh, what, what, what is, is that? Show? That's like the female Snake Eyes, right? From like yeah. G.I. Oh, maybe it's female Snake Eyes. Also, yeah, she know. hasn't aged. If that movie came out ten years ago, <laughs> yeah. she's barely aged. She doesn't age. She's she is a robot, just yeah. like uh, she the is the Terminator. Woman. Uh, well, here's the thing, guys, is that I would like to know what TV show that has been canceled that you would like to turn into a movie and bring back. Ooh. Anybody? You got one? Uh, there? Seriously, seriously. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the finale of Elf. Okay, Elf. yes. Wait, wait, guys, yeah. wait, 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 wait. So on the you. finale of Elf, the government shows up. Mm -hmm. Kidnaps Alf, That's right. and the series ends. That's it. Oh, God. Like it's just like supposed to be this cliffhanger, and it, and instead it ends like he's just he got it's over. He's dead. I mm -hmm. would love to see a movie that was like a hardcore. NCIS sort of like they're like interrogating him and like doing yeah they like medical. harvest his yeah, DNA yeah. to like uh, make weapons and yeah. stuff like we have the best biological weapons ever thanks to you alien life form yeah. <laughs> but like it ended on a cliffhanger and that yeah. was it so I would love to see the Alf movie we gotta see it but made movie. dark because that's yeah. what we do now yeah well the guy who wrote it was a heroin addict. Did you guys know that? Oh, so it wasn't uh, a bag of heroin. That's, that's, that's what, what I was a female superhero. Or, or I was going to say, or yeah. a female hero. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, the writer of ALF actually had a problem with heroin. Yeah, uh, there's a yeah. movie about it. It's called Permanent Midnight. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. a problem with story structure as well, but we don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, you know what else? Uh, Back to the Future uh, just came out with a little like short that they put out, uh, kind of in promotion or something. Why don't we take a look at this little uh, short that Back to the Future put out. It's pretty interesting. Sadder than oh, anything, right? Yeah. That's kind of sad. That that upset kind of me. me out, man. Whoever did Christopher Lloyd's age makeup in the first couple of Back to the Future films got it wrong. They got <laughs> it wrong, <laughs> man. He did not no. age that well. If no. this is your grandfather, you would call up whoever his handler was and be like, "Please make sure he's okay." <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, where is he? It looks like purgatory, and that looks like the VCR yeah. rack you would have in uh, middle school. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna watch the videos. And we need two VCR racks. That's how we. Yeah. That's how we going back to time. I'm look. I'm stuck that it's coming out on uh, Blu-ray, but that is about the minimum amount of effort you could put into a commercial. Yeah. <laughs> that is just like, oh yeah, we got my friend's loft. Yeah, pull a car in there and we'll just let the old man ramble. Well, well yeah, well, my question is, it is for uh, DVD and Blu-ray release, but I don't, is, do you guys use DVDs still? No, it's no. too much effort no. to put a disc in a no. thing so you, you're, so you're no, no, no? no. no. I, I do. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I do, I don't fully understand the cloud. Like, you don't fully understand you the cloud. You don't need to use a cloud. Yeah, yeah, I, I know like that. I, I, don't, I, I don't. Like, I don't want to. Sometimes I want to watch the special features, and like, I think owning a movie is like the best way to like prove. Like, I just put like over 500 DVDs in storage, but I kept like 15 out that are like my closest. Well, doesn't right. just like take up do, space? Yeah. I was gonna say, I'll, do you keep them all in their jewel cases too? And I don't just think have, I'm like, allowed to. Yeah, I don't think I'm allowed to complain about taking up space. I take up space <laughs> more than I can have a thousand so take DVDs. Up more. <laughs> <laughs> also, when you have like, I don't like DVDs because what if somebody wants to stomp out your DVDs? Like, if what? you made if you made your wife mad and she starts taking out your DVDs, like, and stomp <laughs> that's, them out. That's an odd <laughs> worry. <laughs> <if> they, <laughs> and leave my the fucking wife out of this, man. Because you're worried oh someone is going to stomp out your DVD collection. <laughs> Does this right. You to can't you? stomp on yeah. that. I mean, that's that's like a scenario. Like, if someone makes that me makes mad, me think, yeah, that makes me think you stomp people's <laughs> shit out. Well, here, here's the thing. Everyone's 
everyone's like, the future is everything streaming. This, uh, this any time, like every time I try to watch something, like it buffers or there's like it skips or I'm like, I can't get Netflix to load. You live TV in a forest? I, <laughs> I live in West Hollywood. <laughs> there's bears. There's just no uh, no woods. Uh, hey, hey, take that, boy. <laughs> Finally, someone took the gay community down a peg. Yeah, great. I think I hit the trifecta now. <laughs> black yeah, women, you hit black gay dudes, you hit gays. Yep, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well, the next big story that's uh, out right now that I wanted to talk about is that it was Batman Day last Saturday, and Jim Lee and Frank Miller want to finish their all-star Batman and Robin series. Now, this was like one of the highest selling comics in 2005. They only did nine issues, and it ended in 2008. Uh, Interesting thing about this uh, comic, though, Batman was kind of a dick in it. That was sort of the thing. He was like kind of a jerk. Wonder Woman was even kind of a bitch. Like she, you know, she referred to men as a uh, sperm bank, I think. I think we even have like a still from that moment uh, in the comic. Maybe not. Uh, <laughs> I guess we don't have a still of that. Um, but uh, what, I, what I was thinking is, I, I enjoy that. I enjoy that like when they take a character and they make it like dark. Like some of the fans had a problem with it. They had a problem, they were like, that's breaking the reality of Batman. Well, hey, first of all, if you're breaking, it's okay to break the reality of something that's not real. Uh, so have fun with it. But uh, I, I love that. I love superheroes going dark. How about you guys? I feel like, Batman going dark. We now know Batman yeah. is dark because yeah. of the movies and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, particularly the uh, the newer Batman ones with with Christian Bale. Joel Schumacher's yeah. Batman yeah. is dark. I, I, as Joel well. Schumacher. <laughs> yes, that's very dark. Yeah, I actually think that the uh, Nolan uh, trilogy is overrated. You heard me. Yeah. Uh, you, because <laughs> you you fucking heard me. <laughs> to, to, don't get him mad. He will stomp out your DVD collection. He's yelling at Chris Nolan. He will Nolan. crush him by your whole DVD collection. Well, because like. Yeah, Heath Ledger's performance was dope, but it, like mm. I hate like oh I'm sad Batman and and oh Jason Gordon Levitt his name is Robin but he's not really Robin like it's yeah. like Batman's dark already it's about a detective who's you know going through the dark of the night you know <laughs> 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 It's not That's the best way that I've ever heard that Batman was the best pitch. <laughs> He's like a detective who's going through the dark of the night. Like, like dark I feel, night. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Batman's kind of a little bitch. Like he's Oh. No, I'm serious. Like he's his parents died and it was awful. But he spent the rest of his life upset about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't like, 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 take this, Bruce. A yeah. lot of people's parents yeah. died. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's dead. You don't hear me like talking most, about it all the time. Most, <laughs> most Disney princesses have like dead parents. That is, yeah. that is true, and they seem to deal with it. Okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Disney princesses are always perfect. <laughs> I think in every Disney movie, everyone's parents die, right? Yeah, I watched Big happen. Hero Six the other day, thinking it's gonna be like a fun, like the, the your parents are dead and your brother dies in minutes. Six of the movie. <laughs> That's a kids movie. Yeah. Does uh, Tiana's parents die? I think Tiana's parents lived, right? From sister sister? No. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's Tia. <laughs> Tia, Tia. Tia from Princess and the Frog. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't see that I one. missed that one. Oh, so you all forgot the black, the black one. one. Yeah, God. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know if it, but isn't she I like, can't uh, remember I don't her remember if her parents died, but, uh, I just yeah. liked that one because she was a woman who wanted to have a fulfilling career, but yeah. unfortunately it got derailed and she got married to a prince oh, anyway. Was, I just yeah. got mad like there was like some racist ass frog in there or something. <laughs> like, in like the commercial, it was well, like, they're like, it's the first black princess and she's in New Orleans. She's like, I'm a princess. And there was like a frog who's like, hey there, what's going on, girl? Ooh wee, we're gonna have an adventure. And I was like, I'm not watching it. Uh, so, yeah, I well, said the same thing, but for totally different reasons. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, but I would like to know, like, what's another superhero that we could like take and we could twist and make it like dark, you know, kind of like this. For me, it would be Catwoman. Like I'd do a whole series where Catwoman is played by someone like Kathy Bates. You know, and she's like viciously racist. Just a viciously <laughs> racist cat woman. And the story arc of the comic would be that she kidnaps a pregnant woman, cuts the baby out, and raises the baby as her own. Wow. That's some dark shit right there. Yeah. Some dark shit, yeah. cat woman. Everybody has been waiting for that movie. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> when I think Catwoman, I think Kathy Bates. When is it gonna happen? Kathy Bates, tight leather, lots of zippers. <laughs> I, I'm into it, dude. I'm sorry. How about you guys? Any other superheroes that you could darken uh, up? A yeah, bit? yeah. I'd say like Spider-Man and like you know a realistic one where like he's a nerd and then he gets these powers and he's like fucking up all the bullies. So he's like coming in the house yeah. like, oh, you remember you smashed up my glasses <laughs> and my DVDs. And he just stomps all their DVDs. <laughs> He, webs, he uses his webs on their DVDs. I, I'll do. I'll say. I'll make a Spider-Man, a gritty Spider-Man movie that's even more realistic. He gets bit by a radioactive spider and dies like seven days later. <laughs> <laughs> He's just in the hospital. And, uh, and have and his hair falls goodbye. out. Yeah. He just gets really sick and I dies. I thought for sure something good would come of this. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck were you thinking, man? Well, he wasn't bit on purpose. It like <laughs> snuck up on him. Yeah. Well, the yeah. spider bit him on purpose. Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, yeah. You had a spider yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, oh, I think this is like meat, but it's a human. You know, it's like a... Humans, but for the record, humans are meat. Uh, yeah. We are made out of meat. Let's yeah. make sure we keep that clear, because that's going to come in very important. Yeah. Or later on in the show, when we eat iffy on actual <laughs> person. Uh, all right, guys, this next story I want to talk about. This thing is, I think this is cool, but there's this new game coming out called Upsilon Circuit. And I don't know if you guys have heard about this game, but if you die in the game, you can never play it again. Uh, it's a crazy game. So basically, like eight players are going to play this game at a time. Uh, they'll go through the adventure. And if you die, the game just stops. You don't get to get back on the game. Somebody else comes in. What do you guys think about this? Awesome. Right? Yeah. Awesome. This is it's awesome. fun if it's not $69. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like if it's a video game price, that's I sucks. hope it's $400 to play. <laughs> yeah. Because well, then everybody's going to be like all the way at the walls, like slowly <laughs> creeping around. So I Everyone's read, standing over body yeah. armor the whole time. <laughs> I read too about this game because there can only be eight people actively playing at a time. There's going to be a big like audience participation element of it because you want to have other people on the server, not yeah. just the eight people who are actually sure. playing. And apparently you can like, help out the players or hinder them. So to me, this just sounds like the Hunger Games. Oh, like, yeah. Like the sponsors in the Hunger yeah. Games. And they're like, it's like, send you shit. No, man, but, it's clear in that room. Go in that room. Yeah, go exactly. in there. Now, with me, like, there's been many times I've threatened to go over someone's house and beat them up while what playing Jesus this. Christ, what is this? Jesus Christ. Come on, what you, you've so never on? been in a video game playing online, and it's like, oh, you think you tight? No. I'm going to fuck you up in real life. <laughs> no. <laughs> if he, oh, no. 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 We play video games different. <laughs> yeah, I guess we are. <laughs> but uh, you're like the only person who's playing multi-player uh, online games that is also a bully in real life. <laughs> Everyone's getting on the games like, away from bullies. Bully. You're like, I'll come to your house and pull your underwear all the way up your ass. <laughs> Glad I did a black set there. You're probably playing. <laughs> but anyway, this is the game where I'd really do it because now you made me waste my money. So now I gotta. Now you really gotta go crush the DVDs. Yeah. <laughs> That's messed up, man. What do you think, Heather? You love this game, right? I, see, I love hard video games. I love like Dark Souls and all Ooh, that stuff. Yeah. Like those games are great, but they, there's not. I mean, the the worst thing that can happen is you de level. This is the be This is all I've wanted my whole life is this kind of video. Yeah, game. my only worry though is gonna be that it is gonna be a bunch of people not doing anything. It's gonna be <laughs> yeah. a bunch of people like hiding in this like. You'll go on to watch and it'll just be like, oh, this guy's fucking hiding the whole time. Yeah, but then you can yell at him, be like, he's behind that bush. <laughs> that guy's hiding over yeah. there. Yeah, also, I wish it was like a war game where it was just like, you don't want to die, so it's just you and the seven other players are just sitting in a room going, oh, fuck, it's so fucking loud out there. I also want to point something out. You see you see a v VHS tape right there? See, I'm not oh, the yeah. only one who likes to smash movies. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's a whole video game about smashing movies. I'm ahead of the I, That's a huge <laughs> logic leap, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> about smashing movies. Well, my thing with the game is that it is supposed to kind of replicate the idea of real life and that, you know, you want to respect your mortality. Uh, but I hope that the way you die isn't just from uh, fighting and stuff like that. I, I would like oh, to yeah. hope that they would add, like, other real-life things like, that could take you out, like smoking. <laughs> like, if you chose to let your character smoke, he may not get killed by somebody, but he could, like, get lung cancer or mm, something, right? Yeah. Right. You know, some like real life, that real life stuff, that slow, right. you know, the way you people die yeah, in real like you life. Don't yeah. look both ways before you cross the yeah. street. Yeah, and you, you just get hammered. Or like you could use performance enhancing drugs in the game to like give yourself the upper edge and accidentally OD and just you game OD. over. <laughs> or you just kill it in the game, but then when you're like 50 years old, your heart explodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the like miserable random ways to die, like people who are walking in New York City and they just fall in a hole and that's the yeah. end. And that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The and end. you're dead. Yeah. Yo, I 
hate that in like like in Far Cry, like you can't just leap off a cliff. Uh, this game would stress me out so much more. Like in Far Cry, it's like, oops, I sidestepped by accident. Now my character's dead. dead. I fought mm. five hundred dudes with flamethrowers. I step off the cliff and I die. You this game would stress me out so much if I like fell down the stairs and my guy like hurt his leg and then the like, dude comes oh, over no. and ices me. I fucking kill myself yeah. in real life. <laughs> That's how I would play. I would play if also, my character dies, I die. Did you? Say <laughs> yeah. I'd have a belt around it was my neck unclear. like you anyway. To be clear though, you said ice like ice. To you, not, not ISIS. To you, yeah, no, I'm, not ISIS. No, no I thought it was like <laughs> ISIS. To you, because I was like, they don't shoot you in the head; they just take your whole head off. <laughs> yeah, no, iced, like as ice. In, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, if someone like, ISIS is me, that's like, cool. like remember when the ice when you'd have to you got ice and you smear had, like, off ice. Smear you gotta smear take this. <laughs> <laughs> Surprising no one. That's something I did. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah. 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 What if you're like you know you're winning but you're getting beat up and then you die later of internal bleeding? Oh. Um. That's, That's your point. dream. That's your <laughs> fantasy. Uh, you know, I just want to. I, I the most wanna intelligent die like thing you said all time. <laughs> <laughs> what if you fall on some DVDs when you start them out? And one gets lodged in your liver. I love that you added Those something septic. that wasn't about you randomly beating up a stranger. <laughs>